I started building. Name, my name is Kola Wale Dia. Okay, sir. And I started, I started building civil engineering. After that, I started estate management. And then I founded the Affairs Women Company. And um, seven eight years ago, I retired from it and brought into Nigeria the Remax LLC. I brought it as Remax Nigeria, which is the largest real estate company in the world. Let's break it down. In terms of development, we have grown a lot. There are so many developers now. Everybody who has a few millions has turned himself or herself into a developer. So to that extent, we are going. To the extent of intermediation, which is agency, it's become totally bastardized with fraudsters in it and all manner of people. Okay, my name is Tolu Lokpe Onolaja. I'm the group executive director of the Revolution Plus group, where we have Revolution Plus property. Um, Revolution Plus property is one of the foremost real estate companies in Nigeria that is focused on affordable housing. Um, we sell house and landed properties but mostly 70% of landed properties, and then we have houses as well. And then, of course, Revolution Plus, it will be eight years old this year, and then we have done over 40 projects called across six states. We actually have six branches in different states in Nigeria and with one international office in Dallas, Texas, the USA. Thank you. I'm Rola Kea Kinkubwe Filani. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for Mixta Africa. We're a Pan-African Infrastructure Development Real Estate Company. We're currently present in Nigeria. Um, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, uh, Tunisia, and Morocco. Um, I would say if you look back to years before now, I would, I would not say we're, we're not moving forward or we're not making progress. Um, we will look at it, the housing deficit has been there, you know, ever since. And then the advent of developers, at least in one way or the other, has helped to, in a little way, reduce this housing deficit. Because prior to now, how many developers did we really have? So I would, I would say the the sector is actually evolving. Um, I was part of a discussion that looked at infrastructure for growing cities and rethinking existing models. And I think for me, my main school of thought is that developers, the private sector, the public sector, need to think about infrastructure delivery that includes housing delivery in an integrated manner.